Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to compare my cobalt teals and cobalt turquoises. I decided to do these all on one card because they're all kind of competing with each other and also I want to see them side by side. So the first is Daniel Smith cobalt teal blue shade which is PG50. And this is one I've squeezed into this half pen from a tube when I got it. And I, I really love it, but I don't really use it very much because it's so expensive. Here, Daniel Smith is very expensive in Ireland. The next one is the Core Cobalt Teal. It's also PG50. Ooh. And that has quite a bit more pigment in it, it seems. Or is also not exactly cheap, but I think it's not as expensive as the Daniel Smith is. And we'll come to these in a second. And the next one is the Lucas Cobalt Turquoise, which is a PB20. Eight and oh, I think there was some oxide black in my cobalt turquoise. And this one, when I bought it, I thought, "Wow, this is this is really affordable compared to all the other cobalt turquoises or cobalt teals." But it's also, I think you can see this a little bit. I've, I've pre-activated this one. The other ones ha uh, I haven't pre-activated because I don't think they need it. But this one, really, you need to give that a good soak. And then it's still, it's a bit, the consistency-wise, it's a bit almost like gouache. And, yeah, I'm still... It's okay, I guess. It's not my favorite. Then next one is the Rosa Gallery Cobalt Turquoise, which is also a PB28. That's almost, it seems like it's almost the same color as the core above it, isn't it? And I think at the end of the day, this is probably even more affordable than the Lucas one is. Let me think. It's a 24 milliliter tube and I paid a tenner for that one. And this is a 10 milliliter tube and they are three euro. Are they still three euro or are they a bit more expensive now? I mean, even I think it's 350 now, but even so, I think it's still a little bit less expensive and I like this considerably more than I like this one. This is a really nice one actually. Right, and then to my kind of Daniel, uh, not Daniel Smith, sorry, Michael Harding dot card. This is from, from the event in my local art shop that I went to when Michael Harding was there and you could test out some of the watercolors. And I've called them Cobalt Teal 1 and Cobalt Teal 2 because one of them is cobalt teal, just cobalt teal, and the other one is cobalt te teal blue shade. But I think I've mislabeled mine. I'm going to wait until I see them swatched out now. I think they're both PG50. I didn't write down the pigment information. I haven't looked it up in advance. I should have done that, shouldn't I? So this is the one I labeled blue shade, but on my card there this actually looked greener more green leaning than the other one but now that i'm swatching them out this is actually maybe it is bluer than the other one it's 
So I'm just putting them there so I can compare them with the other ones to see if I want to keep them on my wish list or if I want to take them off. I'll give these a moment to dry because then we can compare them better, I guess. Okay, I think they're dry enough for us to have a closer look. And I think I got too much pigment and too much paint on my brush for this one. I didn't ex expect it to reactivate quite so much as it did. So it's kind of a bit difficult to say, but I still, I really like the Daniel Smith one, even though it is almost the most green of the lot here, even though that's the blue shade. It's definitely a lot greener than the core is and the these two as well, but then they are PB28s. Maybe that's not so, not so surprising. They are blue pigments after all. But I really, really like this. I like the core as well. And out of these two, I certainly like this one better. And now that I've swatched them out, this actually does look bluer than this one. So maybe this is the blue shade. But even this one, this is just the cobalt teal, this is still bluer in you than the Daniel Smith is, I think. But I guess, I guess the good news is I really like the Rosa one. And that is, I think it still beats the Lucas um, in, in price and it's certainly a nicer paint. So it's, even if it was a little bit more expensive, now that the Rosa prices have gone up, it would still be, this is probably still the one I'm most likely to go for. Even though I don't mind, I don't mind having these. I'm just still trying to figure out what kind of mixes I can do with this to make the most of, of it. Because as I said, it is a huge tube. And I think this will probably stay on my wish list. I don't know about this one. This could probably, I don't need them both, do I? No, I don't. But yeah, another very useful comparison. And I do really like having them all so close to each other because it it still, it makes it easier. Even if you have like your individual swatch, swatch cards and put them all together, it's easier if you have it all just together like that. So I, f I find that very useful. I hope you find it useful as well because I've got a few more to come. Please let me know in the comments if you find this useful or not. Thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye now. Bye bye.